It was a day for ducks, not lions or bears, as 45,000 drenched fans observed. The tenacious Chicago defense limited the Lion ground machine to a production of just 36 yards. Along with the elements, penalties. And missed field goals highlighted the wet melee. Jack Concannon completed three of four passes. This key 31-yarder to Johnny Morris put the Bears on the march early in the second period. Knowing that he can't swim and refusing to be drowned, Concannon waterbugged his way downfield. Not being hungry either, Flashy Jack preferred not to eat the ball. John Cannon's scampers set up Gail Sayers from the three for the first score of the day. Bears seven, Lions nothing. Sayers had his biggest day of the season. He ran 22 times for 142 yards, which was almost four times what the entire Detroit team could collect on the ground. Despite the great Sayers, the Lions mounted a drive late in the third period. With Plum directing off the play action, Tom Nowatsky is speared down the sideline. Next, it's Tommy Watkins, good for 18 yards to the Bears 36, and another first down. On third and eight, Plum sensed a safety blitz. Plum's perception and Watkins' reception moved the Lions to the Bears' seven. The Bears' defense stiffened and Detroit salvaged three points with 12 minutes remaining. With ample time to select a receiver, Plum unintentionally locates Bear cornerback Benny McRae at the 18. Gail Sayers slips three tacklers to the Lions one. From there, the slippery ball eluded Con Cannon, and the score remained seven to three Bears. Freshly laundered Carl Sweetan stepped into the fray, and before he had a chance to dirty his britches, Benny McRae picked off his second interception. This one good for a touchdown and a 14-3 bear lead. Bobby Thompson put the Bears in a deep hole with this nifty 44-yard kickoff return, but the Lions failed to take advantage. Gail Sayers came right back with this 70-yard jaunt, his longest from scrimmage this season. ended in Lion territory as Chicago celebrated a wet but happy 14-3 victory.